but I'm looking here at what I can and can't do now. And apparently I've unlocked new SDs, so I've got the, the full armor Knight Gundam, which looks awesome. I still want the kit of that. I've got the, the Musha Gundam, which I have the kit of that, and that looks fantastic. This has way more detail, though. The gold on the front skirts, I actually wanted to do on my own kit. Oh, and they've added gold on the side there as well. If I'd have seen this before I'd have done mine, I would have just done mine in the same colors because I was thinking of doing those tiny details in gold. Then we've got the, the Command Gundam, which oh, I need that. It really does look good. I need that myself in my own, on my own shelf. And then we've got Musha Godamaru, which looks fantastic. Yeah, I'm probably going to put that in my collection as well. Oh, I'm really hyped for all of these now. What should I have on? Uh, I can't have the, the knight and the full armor knight Gundam at the same time, because that would be... You know, it seems like it would be breaking things. So what about if we have the Musha Gundam as well? Can we... Oh, I see. You can equip one of them, or you can have, like, two at a time if you select them. So if we keep the Night Gundam for now, and we go back to one of the missions, we, we should be able to select it. Where is it? If I go here and go to, like, Escort Settings, can I... Oh. Is it just... Oh, I see. So if I had a third slot, I'd be able to... I'd be able to equip it. Okay. Okay, fair enough. So I guess I'm going to be doing this one. This one's Dust Settles. Hopefully I put that on Hardcore. Can we just... Yeah, we just check that. Right, so let's deploy. Normally I don't show these loading screens in between, but I was just so happy I got new SDs. Really love the SD line. It's... I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's just simplistic, but you can add loads of detail to it. I just really enjoy it. Here we go. Let's launch and see if this is any harder now. Because if it is, we might need to spend some time upgrading. What are we versus? It's not really giving me... Anything to work with. Hello. It's a... What's that? A, a space gym? And... Um, Is that GPO one? Looks like it. So is this is this uh, Stardust Memory Suits? Because if it is, I do not want to be versus the Dendrobium. Because knowing me, the Dendrobium is going to be a perfect grade. Because like every every large suit probably has the potential to be a perfect grade. It'd be cool if you had the Devil Gunman in this, but it probably won't be in this. It's probably in one of the other ones. Hello. Oh, Banshee! Banshee with the, uh... The rifle, with the, the claws, the, the BS claws, and the cannon as well, I think it is. Oh! I am just... I'm going to town on him here, and I've not even used the beam saber yet. Let's juggle him, and then... There we go. I know people were saying I had groundbreaking, one of the, the pre well, problems with groundbreaking, one of the previous episodes as well. I think it's just because I wasn't understanding how it worked until it's like, yeah, you stand right next to the enemy and then press triangle and it, it just works. It's it's really finicky groundbreak on this, I've noticed. At least for me, anyway. I love that spinning strike that lands on the floor like that. It's, it's fantastic. Come on, can I do that spinning strike? There we go. I know I'm not using all my arsenal that I should be using. I pressed the wrong button there when I wanted to open that box. There we go. So, let's make good use of everything. I really need to get the irradiation on the, uh, the, the armed armor DE, because that would prove really useful for, like, another Buster Rifle style weapon. I mean, as much as I like the, the small missile shots, because you feel a little bit like using the non-irradiated shot, I, I don't know, I just feel like it would be a little bit more help. 
I've got some EX attacks, might as well use them, because they refuel or the uh they come back really quick because of my added stuff on my Axios Beam Sabers. Slice him up there. Do like three normal attacks and then a, a heavy attack there. Switch it up a little bit. Is that Jim Custom though? I was trying to tell because it should keep with the uh, the running theme of having all the similar style suits on the same level. Like for instance, the first level has a lot of the uh, Shining Rising and Noble. Oh, and Dragon because of it being like G Gundam themed. So normally you can kind of tell what you're facing based on the theme. I just realized I've not got the uh, GM bits back. Excuse me, come here so I can juggle you. Yeah, that's the gym custom, I think. Just looking at the color scheme. I, I didn't get a good look at the parts because I was too busy fighting so many units at once. Oh, he got shredded. I'm trying to find that unit there. There we go. I just love how I've slowly gotten faster and got more thrust gauge. I'm, I'm definitely going to need to upgrade at some point. Here we go. Is that Gelgoog? Red Gelgoog? Zaku 2s? Yeah. I'm just trying to... It, every time I come on a mission, it's like trying to guess which suits are which. Kind of like Fan Patrick in Build Divers at the moment. It's always fun trying to guess which suit you versus. Tell you what, because it refuels so quickly. Let's use Hyper Mode. I absolutely love hyper mode. It's very similar to Trans Am, but I just like the way it turns your suit golden. Especially because in the uh, the hyper mode, my crossbone faceplate opens up, revealing the vent. Hello, Keridin. Interesting suit to fight around here. Just a random one, but. There we go, drag him over here, away from everybody else. I think he's irradiated. I thought there was somebody else there. Oh yeah, there is. There's one left. Take his armor off of that and then drag him over here if I can. And off the cut. Ouch. Oh, red frame? Red frame Kai? I wonder what that backpack's gonna be like. So I've already got some red frame parts. Looks like I'm gonna get more now. How is it only one red frame or what? Oh. There we go. I need to be close to him to use your ground break. Oh, I did in the mist there for a moment. Right, I need to be stood still. Come on. I, I, I need to be... Stop doing long combos. Ah. Uh, I missed the... I missed because it started aiming at the other one. I need to be stood right next to him and then just press triangle. There we go. Oh yes, there was, there was more than one red frame. That moment when you try to urge juggle him and it just won't work, instead you just blade wave him in the face. 
Oh, G Gamber is straight and Tiger Pierce. Nice. I love the way it's like, how do you take on multiple enemies? Just release the, the GM bits and then go crazy on every single mobile suit with a bunch of beam sabers and your anchor shot and occasionally your twin buster rifle. I love the way this suit is prepared for quite a lot of situations. <laughs> it's just really handy, especially because of the bits, because I just let the bits do whatever the hell they want. And I seem to be able to get away with quite a lot. But there we go, there's a blade wave thing back up and going again. Excuse me, I would like to anchor shot you. There we go. All right, it's either you're coming to me or I'm coming to you. So just stay there for a moment while I can get a clean shot on you. There we go, just pull a Zaku too, halfway across the level. Go hyper mode again. And the shield and rifle bits are back, so let's, let's have a laugh and abuse the X Gundam's saber to get a little bit more damage, get some air juggling going. Thought that would have worked, but apparently not. Ouch! Oh my god, it's a massacre here at the moment. I just noticed I've come out of hyper mode. I just love how fast this game is. It's just so satisfying, especially because combined with the way that your suit handles, you can do so much stuff. And I know there was players coming, but I need to get that box back there and hello. What are these suits? Oh, I've encountered one of those before. It's the one that looked like uh, Char's suit. Or at least looks like Char. A little bit. I think it's just because of the color scheme. The red and the, uh, the white. There we go, he isn't going anywhere. Shoulder Vulcan juggling like that. There we go, he's gone. I love the way he's just getting juggled in, in mid-air like that. Let's be even nastier and use the rifle bits here. Grab him. Flip him up in the air again and then irradiate him. And then finish him off. Did he ever actually come down there? I'm not entirely sure I saw him hit the floor for a moment. There we go, use the anchor shot to get round there. Save a bit of man boosters. This is so much fun at the moment. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Why are we in the uh, the space area where I fought the PG? There's the full burn, Yim. Okay, so I got a unicorn parts? Oh, no, wait. Nope. I read that wrong. <laughs> I was like, unicorn parts? And then next minute it says undown. Clearly, because I don't have my glasses on. There we go. Yeah, there's the custom gym. If this is what the fight that I think it is, I'm gonna be a bit screwed here. Is that I've seen a fight versus the Dendrobium online just a little bit. And I don't think I'm ready for it, especially because of the suit. Is where I am actually versus it. Oh no, GPO2? Okay, that's... That's interesting, right? So... Let's have a laugh. Just 
Somebody asked, like, why does the uh, satellite cannon have the G Gundam theme in one of the comments? And it's purely because of the uh, the main body that I'm using. It plays that theme. So if I had, like, the uh, the main body of a... Or the, the main part of a... Double O suit, it would play that. It might also be based off my... Uh, my hyper mode as well. I'm surprised these two aren't dead yet. There we go, that GPO2 got wrecked. I'm surprised they survived the satellite cannon. And oh my god, I'm so high up. I'm trying to pull that one up into the air. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Ouch. This, this guy ain't having a good time. And we're good. Woo! I really, really enjoyed that. There we go. Hyper mode. So I can get that from all of the above. Nice. Gonna have to try those out later. I got the GN sniper rifle, level 10. Whew. Have so many head units. I love the, the Keridim's head unit. The red frame. We got the Banshee's one. Keridim's torso, which doesn't have funnel bits on, if I remember rightly. E carbon. There we go, full psycho frame. That has the uh, armed armor BS and VN. Radiator shield? Oh, yeah, it's from the GPO2. Okay, okay. I'll take that. So many parts now. <laughs> 